In the past, we made a written guide on our blog to show how to set up a dual PC streaming rig, utilizing an Elgato card and two PCs. Though the contents of this blog post cover the basics in getting the two connected, streaming has gotten way more popular even since two years ago when we posted the blog. By extension, competition has gotten even more stark. So now, in video, we'll tackle the very basics, provide an alternative option to using a capture card, and provide a clear visual on how to connect all your streaming peripherals. Here's the very basics of what you need for a dual PC setup. Two PCs, predictably, a keyboard and mouse to control both, or use a USB toggle with the keyboard and mouse to switch them between each PC, and your magic wand, a capture card, mounted directly into the streaming PC via the PCIe port. We like the Elgato. Here's how you set it up. First, download and install your streaming software, be it OBS, Streamlabs, XSplit, whatever, onto your streaming PC. Then, plug the HDMI cable from your gaming PC into the in on your capture card. On the gaming system, right-click the desktop and select Display Settings. Make sure the streaming system's capture card shows as a duplicated display from your main gaming monitor. Now, on the streaming system, open your installed streaming software and add the capture card as a streaming source, in the same way that you'd add a monitor. Verify that your gaming PC's monitor is both visually appearing in the preview and transferring its audio properly. All done? Now you can use your gaming PC's display just as you would any other source. If you don't want to invest in a capture card and just want to utilize the two PCs you currently have access to, you can try OBS Teleport. Coalition Gaming has a great video on how to set this up, but here's a basic gist. Download and install OBS to both your streaming and gaming PCs. Then, download OBS Teleport from the GitHub page, provided in the description. Run the installer, again, on both PCs. Make sure that both of them are on the same network, preferably via a wired connection. Head over to your gaming PC to configure your video output under Settings, Video, Scaled Resolution slash Common FPS Value. This is what's going to be sent to your streaming PC, so if you happen to stream at 720p at 60 frames per second, now's the time to set it. Click Teleport under the Tools tab on your gaming PC, and type in a simple name to identify it with. Now, this next step is important. Set quality between 60 to 70 to start. If you know your network speed is particularly fast, you can bump this up, but if you know it's particularly slow, you can knock it down. This is the first slider to play with if you feel like you're not getting the desired output on your stream. Finally, on your streaming PC, after making sure that Teleport is listed under Tools, simply add a source, click Teleport, proceed with it at default or name it, allow the local connection via the on-screen prompt if that's very important, and add your gaming PC as a source. That's it. However, this method is inevitably much more finicky and requires more fine-tuning to get right. Again, the Elgato is our preferred method, but this is a good place to start if you want to utilize two PCs and let your gaming rig focus on gaming. Peripherals can get a bit confusing with two PCs, but the rule of thumb with a dual PC setup is this. The gaming PC is doing gaming, so plug all of your gaming peripherals in there. On the flip side, things like your camera and stream deck go straight to your streaming PC. As a quick side note, if you have a DSLR around, try using a cam link or similar converter for a super high quality video stream over a standard webcam. Audio is a bit different. The ideal solution is to use a mic mixer and hub. This will give you a full physical control over your audio. Allow for mic connected via XLR, as well as a litany of additional features. But if you want to go without, then it should be headphones into your gaming PC and mic into your streaming PC. This will let you hear what you're doing and provide your audio directly into your streaming software. There's almost less of a reason now versus in the past, with video cards getting absurdly powerful and large. Recent developments like DDR5 RAM, the newest gen of CPUs, and AIO water cooling solutions. But don't be fooled. Without a fraction of a doubt, two heads are better than one. Allowing your gaming PC to focus on gaming and your streaming PC on streaming means better performance, better thermals, by extension, a longer lifespan for all your components. We take that kind of thing seriously at Velocity Micro. A cleaner setup means less stress for you, and cleaner cable management leaves less stress on your computer. Our computer craftsmen have a serious knack for it. If you feel like you need the upgrade of a lifetime, we'll happily hook you up. Check out our website for PCs perfect for streaming and gaming, or explore for yourself to see what you like. Thanks for watching. This has been Marcus, and I'll catch you in the next one.